Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today you will see how to crochet warm and stylish hat with two patterns. For work I will use 6 mm crochet hook and a ball of wool yarn. All additional information about the tools could be found in the description of each video tutorial. Please join me, it is going to be a very interesting project. Let's get started crocheting. I will begin from the brim part. For this, make a chain of 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. My foundation chain is ready. Then I am making the chain. This is for transition. I skip one, insert the hook into the second chain stitch away from the hook, make a slip stitch and work with a slip stitch into the e chain stitch of the foundation chain. Please do not pull your stitches, they should be a little bit loosely, like this. like this so keep working in this way till the end of this row your row could be longer or shorter so let's make the last one my first row is ready make a chain Turn the work. I'm turning the work in one direction always. I skip the chain stitch and they are my back loops. I insert the hook into the back loop. Make a slip stitch into the each back loop. This is the easy to make pattern. You can use it to create handband. Pattern consists of only one row and has one stitch. You can make the foundation chain of any amount of chains. In my case, it is 13 chains in the foundation chain. In your case, it could be more or less. I remind you, I'm working with back loops only and work across the row. This is the second row of my pattern. Then you should crochet as many times as you need for your project. In my case, it is going to be head or bring part of the head. In your case, it could be handband, scarf, or another accessories for home or kitchen. My second row is ready. Make a chain. Turn the work. Work with back loops only. Make a slip stitch. And slip stitch into the each back loop of the next stitch. It is going to be a very elastic brim part, so I like this pattern. Then I will show you what I have done. Once I have done the brim part, let's look at my ready project. Actually, this is the brim part of the head. At this point, I would like to measure it to show you the size. It is 10 centimeters. It is almost 10. I haven't finished yet. So let's measure 
again it is 18 centimeters so in general it is 36 centimeters and now I show you how to join two sides together to create a round I take their fronts together here how it looks when it is really stretchy at this point you should try it on your head and decide it is enough for you or comfortable for your head or not for me it's enough I continue working on my head And at this point I'm going to show you how to join two sides together. This is the beginning of the work. This part is closer to me. I put their fronts together. Now I turn the work, make a chain, then turn the work one more time. I insert the hook into the first stitch of the foundation chain then insert the hook into the back loop like this make a slip stitch I insert the hook into the chain stitch then insert the hook into the back loop on the second side make a slip stitch then insert the hook make a slip stitch and let's repeat one more time insert the hook into the stitch insert the hook into the back loop make a slip stitch so keep working in this way till the end of this row and then I will show you the ready seam then I will show you my ready project. Here how my head looks like. I stop at this point and show you the part of my head. As usually my head consists of three parts, brim part, straight part and the crown. I will start from the brim part. I have already done it. Pattern consists of one stitch and has one row. This pattern I used for the brim part. It is very stretchy and very elastic for me. Next part, also you have done the joining two sides in the previous time with me. The second part is the straight part. For this part I will use another pattern and of course I will do increases. It is going to be unusual single crochet stitches. Pattern consists of one stitch and has one row as well. You can wear it like a beanie hat or a slutchy hat. This is the transition part. And the last part is the crown. So in general this is the simple hat. In the crown you will see how to crochet the greases. Let's continue working on my hat. It is going to be very interesting and easy to make pattern. I have done the seam. This is the back side. Let's look at the front. The my seam is not visible on the front side. I turn my brim part on the front. As you can see, this is the very stretchy part of the head. I continue working on my second pattern it is going to be a straight part of the head make a chain this is for transition part i'm going to work with unusual single crochet stitches for this yarn over the hook insert the hook i'm going to work between cables insert the hook into the stitch grab the yarn pull it through two loops then yarn over, pull through two loops, like this. Continue, yarn over the hook into the stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through, pull through two loops. 
yarn over the hook insert the hook into the between these two grab the yarn pull it through and pull through two loops let's repeat one more time yarn over the hook insert the hook into the stitch grab the yarn pull it through and pull through two loops and yarn over pull through two loops like this pattern consists of one row and has one stitch so it's not difficult to remember and so on then i will show you how to complete this round with me this is the first round of the straight part pattern consists of one round and has one stitch it is not difficult to remember and now let's complete this round i skip the chain stitch insert the hook into the top of the stitch make a slip stitch i have got 68 stitches in this round in your case it could be more or less so i did unusual single crochet with yarn over twice between these two let's crochet the next round make a chain yarn over the hook insert the hook into the same stitch grab the yarn pull it through and pull through two loops yarn over the hook grab the yarn pull it through and pull through two loops yarn over the hook insert the hook into the stitch grab the yarn pull it through pull through two loops it is very easy to make so you don't need special skills you just need to know basics of crocheting so in general this is hat for beginners keep working in this way till the end of this row or round then you should repeat as many times as you need for your head then i will show you the ready straight part so the straight part is ready here how it looks when you are done for this project i use wool yarn and and simple crochet hook you can use any kind of yarn and any crochet hook let's measure my swatches usually and you will see the size it is 20 centimeters for me it's enough in your case it could be more centimeters or less and at this point i'm going to work with crown let's crochet the first round of the crown this is the first round of degrees in total it should be five rounds with degrees all of them will be the same make the first stitch make four stitches in a row two three and four i have done four stitches then i will show you the grease yarn over the hook insert the hook into the front loop of the next stitch then insert the hook into the front loop of the second stitch like this i remind you i'm working with front loop in this case pull up a loop pull through grab the yarn pull it through and pull through two loops here what i have at this point so it's not visible in the swatch i continue working i need to do four stitches straight let's count one two three four 
four. Let's repeat one more time. Four. Let's crochet the greases. Yarn over the hook. We insert the hook into the next front loop, then the second front loop. Grab the yarn, pull it through, and pull through two loops. So it looks very nice and not visible. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. So you should crochet four stitches straight and make the crease into the fifth and the sixth stitch. Let's complete this round. This is the first round of the crown. I skip the first stitch, insert the hook into the stitch, I skip it the chain stitch, curve the yarn, pull it through by making a slip stitch. So at the end of this row, I got six stitches without degreases. So it's, it's okay. In your case, it could be five or three. It is normal for this pattern. And I remind you, I did degreases into the fifth and the sixth stitch. So I made four straight and did degrees into the fifth and the sixth. And let's look at this round. I hope you will use wool yarn because it's very beautiful in the wool yarn. If you would like to use another kind of yarn, so you just need to how it looks in your specific yarn. Let's crochet round two of the crown. Make a chain. Make the first stitch. The second. In total it should be 5 rounds, 3 and 4. So make the greases. Insert the hook into the front loop, then insert the hook into the front loop of the next stitch. Grab the yarn, pull it through three, three loops at once, and pull through two loops. Yarn over the hook, make four stitches straight. One, two, three, four, then insert the hook into the front loop, insert the hook into the next front loop, grab the yarn, pull it through three loops at once, pull through two loops. Here what I have. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. I have done the first round and started the second one. And you need to crochet three more with your own. In total it should be five rounds with degreases. I have done all five rounds. Here how they look like in the crown. Let's look at the pattern one more time. I really like it. I still need to continue to crochet my crown. As you can see I have got the small hole and I need to remove it. I'm going to work with one more round of the greases. And I will show you how to crochet the greases in different way. Make a chain, grab the yarn, pull it through, pull through two loops. And now I will alternate with simple stitch and stitch with degrees. Yarn over the hook, 
insert the hook into two front loops, grab the yarn, pull it through three loops at once and pull through two loops. Then make simple stitch. And make degrees. Grab the yarn, pull it through. And pull through the loops. I remind you the sequence simple stitch and stitches with degrees. So keep working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete this round. I remind you I was alternating with a simple stitch and stitches with degrees. To complete this round, I insert the hook into the back loop, grab the yarn, pull it through by making a slip stitch. Now I am working with last round for my crown and now I am making degrees into the each stitch. Make a chain, yarn over the hook. I insert the hook into the loop. And then insert the hook into the next front loop. Here what I have. I turn the work. Grab the yarn, pull it through three loops at once and pull through two loops. Yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into two front loops. Let's repeat one more time. Here what I have. Grab the yarn, pull it through three loops at once and pull through two loops. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into two loops. Grab the yarn, pull it through. Pull through the loops. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Once I have done the last round of the crown, as you can see, I have done degrees into three stitches. It was three front loops in my case. I skip the chain stitch, insert the hook into the first stitch. Make a slip stitch, pull it, and to secure the yarn by making a chain. I have already cut off my yarn. I leave a long piece of yarn to sew my small hole. So I turn my head to the back side and sew it. You can use sewing needle or a crochet hook. In my case, I'm using the sewing needle. This is the back side of the head. Here how it looks when you are done. And I took the working yarn through the sewing needle. And with the needle go through the stitches like this. With the needle go through the stitches. I work in, in round. I work with each stitch of the previous round. So work. Go through the each stitch. Like this. I'm done with sewing and I pull it. Here what I have. So my hole is not visible. You can sew one more round. So I will sew one more round in this case. I always do in each head. 
So with the needle go through the stitches. You can work with loop or stitches. Like this. Please don't hurry up. Make it comfortable for you. You can sew two times or three. It depends how many times would you like to sew the hole. Also, you can add a pompon to the crown to create your look unusual. Let's look what I have done. I removed all yarns. And hear how my crown looks like in the ready head. There is no holes in my crown, so it's very beautiful and unusual. As usually, I would like to show you my size. It is... ...19 centimeters. The straight part is 30 centimeters. It is very elastic and simple at the same time. You can add a small motifs to create your own look, like a flower, sleeves or pompons. You can make it wider. Please use your imagination to create your own project with own pattern, if you like. You can also change color of yarn patterns and add accessories. Next time you will see how it looks on the mannequin. Here how it looks on my mannequin. I wear it like a stretchy hat. Also it could be like a beanie hat or a simple hat with brim part. I show you the variation how you can wear it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And write comment below this video what you will get with me and where you will use my patterns. I remind you, you can use different colors of yarn, variegated yarn or change your color of yarn. And of course different kinds of crochet hooks.